In this video, we're going to be going over parse int and how we can convert a integer in a string to just an integer. So to do this first, we're going to have our string. We're going to call it first instead of equal to some string in here. Now, remember, we're converting a string that is a number to an integer. So we are just going to type in 79 as our value. And now we want to do int and we're going to call this temp num and we'll set this equal to, and this is where the magic happens. We're gonna have integer dot parse int. And we can see what that does right here. It's going to take a string as a parameter and it's going to parse it and see if it's an integer. So we're going to do this and then we're gonna take first as our parameter because this is the string. We could put a string inside of here, I'm sure, but it's just neater this way. And then we're just going to sys out and print temp num. If we run this, we can see that our number prints out because it is stored in here. Now this works for a very specific case. This very specific case is if we have a number in here. However, if we have anything other than a number like 79T and we run this, it breaks the program. And as programmers, we want to know and implement bounds checking. So we are going to have to set this up so that even if it's not a number, our program doesn't break. What we're going to do is use a try catch statement. We might also be able to use an if else statement. However, I think a try catch statement would work the easiest and it's pretty simple. So to use a try catch statement, we are going to have the try part. We're gonna have a bracket here and everything inside of our try is gonna be what we're trying to do. So we need this conversion in here because we are going to try to convert this. And then we need this print line in here simply because this variable is assigned inside of here. Following our try, we're going to need a catch. And then inside of here, we're going to need our exception. We'll just have the exception E, and then we're gonna have our brackets like this. And you can actually put something inside of this bracket and it will execute. If this try doesn't execute, our catch will execute, kind of like an if else. So we'll do sys out, and we're just going to print num not found, just for example purposes. So if we were to run this, we would print out num not found because again, it's not a number, it is a string. If we had a whole string in here, like we'll use test, it can print out num not found again. But if we had a value, like let's say negative two, and we print this, we will have a negative two printed out because it will go in this try statement. So that is how we would use the dot parse int to see if we have a number inside of a string. And that is how we would also use the try catch statement.